guys, here we are then. A uh, quick plot tour. What is it? Saturday, 30th of June. Yep, about, I'm mean about, uh, I don't know, half ten in the morning. So, take a mound. Got some gourds in here now, like I did last year. Just look for the kids for Halloween. Picked all the shallots. Show you those in a minute. And in the first bed, I put some more corn. Uh, I can't remember if it's swift or incredible, one of the two. And the other one, uh, some savoy cabbage. Puddled them in well. It should be alright. A few slug pellets and a cage over the top. Got to work fast in this weather because, as you can see, if you look around, there's white butterflies everywhere. And as soon as that nets up, they make a beeline for my little <laughs> little plants, and I'll be in there. And you end up caging one in. Devastation. Uh, Red Baron and high tech onions in there. Very nice. Leeks, they're doing alright, need a bit of weeding. I uh, might start marketing bindweed looking at that. Um, what we got here? Radish and um, beetroot, yeah. Well, a good water in this morning. Ventor onions, bulbing up very nicely. Again, need a bit of weeding. Oh, it's hot. Um, what we got here? Uh, da, da, da. Spinach. Yeah, a load of spinach in there. The other cage bit, picked two of these lettuce the other day for the show, as you saw. One left, beetroot, very nice. Miscellaneous brassicas. The other calabres, as these are just about to, they're going to come into flower. So it's time to cut them off and hope they'll branch out again, ready for a second crop in. Uh, more brassicas in there, kohlrabi, swede. Uh, corn, I've moved this little net back a bit so the corn can grow. And if you can see in there, I've interplanted them with some dwarf beans, the prince. Bit of the old uh, three sisters, but only two of them. <laughs> courgettes and cab uh, courgettes and lettuce. They're doing all right. Sweet potatoes in the middle there. Uh, kale. Carrot buckets coming on all right. Yeah, <laughs> bit, bit wild this tar taro. Uh, beans, nip down here a minute. Dwarf beans here. Uh, now well, they're growing well, look. Zoom out a bit, come here. And runner beans, just tied these up a bit. Got them rotating the right way. So they're starting to climb, some better than others. Uh, a few more brassicas on the end there, kohlrabi and swede. Pick the last two lettuce from here and put in uh, a number 16, I can't remember what it is now. That's the Calabrese that I just pruned off over there. Should get a second crop off them. Look at that, blooming. Here we are, that's what I'm saying, look. Butterfly in the cage. So what chance have I got now? Gotta try and get him out. Do that in a minute. Um, French beans on the outside, dwarf beans in the middle. They're coming on nicely. Should be a good crop in there. Right, I can see him, I'm gonna go and get him. Oh, one more thing, parsnips. Yeah. They're doing very, very well. So, carried on at home. See you in a bit, guys. Yeah, back at home now, and uh, here's the shallots I picked earlier. The Hatib shallots. Um, should be able to get quite a good bunch out of this for the show. Uh, I've got to do a voiceover, I'm afraid, because there's a barbecue going on. And we all know how YouTube do not like you to infringe uh, music copyrights. Good old Bob Marley. Here's the ones I picked before, and uh, there's the garlic. Brilliant. There's the elephant garlic at the back. Now we just carry on with the, a quick walk around the front and back gardens. Put courgettes galore. One or two courgettes per plant every single day. The uh, tomatoes, prolific, brilliant, trussing up nicely, and don't forget these are actually greenhouse tomatoes growing outside. And right next to the uh, hydroponic tomatoes at the front, we've got the uh, carrots, sweet candle these are, stump rooted, they're doing pretty well. And here are the celery, about six in there, and they're doing very well, collared up and uh, blanching nicely. Uh, broad beans, but I'll talk about those in a minute. There's the 
uh, radar onions that were planted last year dried off nicely <laughs> in a little box just to get them out of the way for a minute. <laughs> And as every video, the grandkids' potatoes, yeah, green again, growing nicely. In fact, there's some spuds poking through the top. Here's the broad beans, still growing where very, very well. I thought they've gone over with the uh, the yellowing of the leaves, but they're still cropping. And a quick whiz across the other side of the drive. The potatoes, yeah, they're brilliant take a lot of water in I probably won't bother with the um, 14 litre bags next year because they're too hard to maintain the 30 litre buckets are far easier um, yeah the ones at the back there they're ready for picking maybe uh, a reveal next week who knows courgettes is the yellowing ones love them and another view of the tomatoes trusses everywhere so uh, Gonna have some tomatoes galore this year. And a quick uh, roller coaster ride upwards for the uh, the strawberry hanging basket. Loads of strawberries on this. Yeah, tasty, juicy, sweet, and not content with the uh, tomatoes on the ground. I got tomatoes in a hanging basket. And for someone who said he wouldn't do many sh uh, chilies this year, uh, I've done quite a few chilies this year. <laughs> and here's the uh, Jermor shallots, overwintered from last year, drying out nicely, ready for pickling. And we bounce over to, to the back garden. Um, run the beans, Enorma, in a bag there. Look. The great big thing at the back, big mass of green, is. Uh, 20 odd tomato plants in a hydroponics tower. More peas there. And the long carrots in the barrel. Yeah, doing well. I'm not quite sure whether I should be watering those often or seldom. Yeah, well, we'll see. Big leak there, look. Blanching very, very well. Um, and back garden potatoes. In, in, uh, in bags. I, I'm pretty sure I shan't do bags next year. And some um, Kelsey onions at the front there. Giant runners. And the reason I'm going to rock it around to the uh, left here. There it is. The potato tower challenge. It is shot up. So it's uh, the, the pots themselves are about a metre high. And... The homes are at the top by at least 30 centimetres now. Incredible. <laughs> 